Hey everyone, it's Jarrett Moore back again with another video and today we're going to cover one of the newest updates in the last Power BI desktop update which was in February of 2021 and for those of you that haven't already upgraded to this you're going to want to watch the video that uh, Microsoft put out on this and also upgrade to the um, February 2021 edition of the Power BI desktop. That way you can see some of the cool new features that have come out. One thing in particular that I'm going to show you today is something that they, they've called the field list. They've made some improvements to different areas here. But before I do that, let's head on over to the web and I'll show you the website for the actual um, summary of the February 2021 um, release here. And if we scroll down the page here, I'll include this link in the description below. As we scroll down here um, in the reporting section, this is where I, I come up with this new, um, new field list um, and it's in preview right now. Um, they've also done some other updates as we see here as well, but they've definitely improved um, the functionality and also the overall look of how the um, of how a Power BI desktop um, looks and feels. So I, I think it's worth a, a quick little video to show you um, at least this new field list and some of the new features for those of you that haven't already upgraded or dug into the updates from the February 2021 update. So let's head on back over to Power BI desktop already in the web here let's go back to the power bi desktop and, and, and to and enable all this you'll have to go to file options and settings go to options and then once this populates we'll go to preview features and you'll want to make sure that the new fields list right here is turned on and then one thing that i like to do to learn about these new additions is click on the learn more button and this will take you to this page here with the Microsoft documentation. I'll include this link in the description below as well. As we scroll down here, it, it goes through in detail of, of what they've done with some of these, what they're calling new fields list. Um, this just shows you how to do what we just did, turning on the feature here. And this kind of shows you on the left hand side here of what it used to look like before February 2021 update. And this is what it looks like afterwards. So you can definitely tell the difference between, um, for example, um, the discounts. There's no way of telling that that's a, you know, um, a column that is uh, a non-text item or something that, that is summarized. So this is a, a great new little feature that they've done here. Um, in the fields, you'll also have, you know, a few more options to choose from in, in the field selection there as well. And if we scroll down to the, the, the menu for the tables, um, you can see that they've added some different things, um, some functionality that you can, that you can use um, that you couldn't before. Also in the tooltips, um, if you just hovered over before, like on financials, it'll just give you the information uh, or the name of the actual table. But here, it tells you not only the name of the table, um, but the storage mode, um, obviously if it was import or direct query, and then obviously um, the last time that the, the data was refreshed um, for that particular table. And as we scroll down here, um, these are some of the field list icons uh, of what they used to be and what they look like now. So now you can you definitely see that they've they they've definitely tried to give this a a new look and feel. And uh, while this update was was small in size, it, it it's definitely um, an important update that I think that that needs to be um, that needs to be that need that people need to be aware of uh, of, of what's coming and uh, where they're headed with this product. So let's head back on over to Power BI Desktop. And I'll go through some of these that, as you can see here in my measure table here, I have one measure table set up in this model right here. Um, you can see the icon looks very similar to the way, way it did before, but the, uh, the columns definitely, um, these are folders, subfolders that I have my measures set into. Um, pretty nice new little look to that with the functionality and also within the data 
this is one of my fact tables here. There's, this is the um, one of my fact tables and you can see the different icons now. And then this column right here, I can tell is a, uh, it's a calculated column that I created. Um, so nice little new look and feel. What's also great about the, the 2021 update is they added a, they added a search bar at the top here to where instead of having to open up a, a menu here, like modeling and enter a new table, all I have to do now is just go up here into the search bar and start type, to typing in new. And it gives you the option to, to add a new table, to, to add a new column, a new measure, um, basically anything that's available in any of these sub sub menus, um, like for external, not an external, but let's go into modeling here. If I wanted to do a new, a new parameter, just type that in, new parameter shows up here. So it gives you definitely this functionality, but it also gives you um, the ability to open up um, recent files that you opened up um, or that you have um, also, you can refresh um, the model from here, choose themes, basically any one of the options that are available in here um, and, and these menus from here. Now you have the uh, availability to, to search up here, which is, 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 a, is a pretty cool little feature. Um, they also did a little nice little upgrade to the, to the model view here um, to where when you hover over, um, obviously, You've been able to do this, but you can actually collapse each one of these um, tables to make them smaller, especially if you have a much larger model. I know with mine, I don't have a whole, a, a large model, but definitely when I hover over this key measures table, it lets me know, um, like I showed you before there, it shows um, how the, uh, the, the storage mode, and then also the last time that this data was refreshed. Um, and then you can see all the fields over here. Just like we, just like we have been able to, to do before, but uh, I definitely uh, just wanted to, to to do a quick video to show you um, what's what just happened in the February 2021 update with Power BI Desktop, and uh, I encourage you all if you already haven't done so to download the the February 2021 update. That's it for all for now. Thanks. Until next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.